This is the board that I have spent the least amount of time on in my entire moonboarding career. V3 to V9 benchmarks, and we're gonna do the easiest and the hardest at each grade. We're at the V4 level, that 6B plus level, and we want the easiest to hardest, and the way we would do that, the easiest is just by sorting by most repeats. I go back, and the first one we have there is an easy problem, Brett Duffield, and we have 50,041 repeats. The most climbed thing in the world, potentially. Yeah, yeah imagine that. Brett. seconds for the purists. Is that the limit? Three seconds? Yep, match for three. I'm definitely not bad. How would you say is best to find the hardest and the easiest? Typically what I would do is if I'm trying to find easiest and hardest, I would go to the benchmarks at whatever level and then I would sort by most repeats and I'd go and I'd, I'd scroll down the list and then there should be an obvious, that line should be, it should tail off and then there should be a few at the end that have very, like it, there should be an obvious cliff that just you, you drop off with numbers of repeat. And that probably means, it's highly likely that it means that they've just been fairly recently added. Find the true hardest one, it's probably not the last in the list. Maybe it's the third last in the list or something mm -hmm. like that. The first thing I'd say to, hey viewers, you, what you should do is you should definitely switch to the French grading system and there's a couple of reasons. See, you're gonna, look, see, this is good. This is good. I'm learning. Well, the difference is that, for example, when you're looking at V5s, I get to look at 6C and 6C+. They're two separate grades. Mm. They, have, they have two sets of benchmarks at each of those grades. If, if everything is a spectrum, then V5 as a difficulty, 6C sits in that first half of the V5, so it's an easy, easy V5 and 6C plus is the top end of V5. And so the grade ends up feeling fatter. That happens at a couple of a couple of points on the scale. The V4-5 level and the V8-9 level yeah. is, is also where that occurs. So the V8-9 level is at 7, 7B plus to 7C. It's helpful to you if you choose the French system. Now we find the hardest 6B plus. 6B plus. Ciao Bambino or Gravity's Rainbow. I think Gravity's Rainbow is probably slightly the harder problem. Kyle Knapp. Classic Kyle Knapp. Everybody knows Kyle because he is, uh, he is pretty much the most popular setter on nearly all of the sets. He's well known for setting problems where you're struggling <coughs> to use your feet as you would want to. He loves setting problems where they struggle with the feet. I found myself a little bit weird with my feet here, actually. Atal... Atalapa? Yeah, I can't understand how you'd say that either. Atula... Atualpa. Okay. Polynesian... Okay. Spanish or something, probably. For me, it would be double cro double cross. Uh, you're not a fan of the cross over moves at all, eh? I, you know, I'm not a fan. I believe that the left side of the body should stay on the left, and the right <laughs> should stay on the right. There is a dotted line down the middle, and there should be an Thou alarm. Thou shalt not cross. You do not cross. There. <laughs> oh, that is quite the cross. An amazing problem. One. Oh, that's hard. Yes. <laughs> Far out. The elbow bent backwards, I saw <laughs> it. I saw it. 
Oh yeah, go again. One, two, three. Control. <laughs> what do you think? That is hard. Yes. That first cross is a hard move. I spent ages just on that move. Yeah. Like hitting it and then unwinding felt very tenuous. Hocus Pocus by Ben Moon. Gee. Come on. Yep, that was a move. Yeah. I also find that right foot position is easy for it to slide down the sharp bit of the jug. Yeah, because there's not much surface area. You think it's a huge hold, but it's actually a downward sloping, slicing piece of plastic that just, you, your foot often just skates off. That was the hardest one. That was the easiest one. Oh. Sorry to tell you, that was the easiest of the six C pluses. And the hardest, I reckon you could choose between Spaguni Milk Hotel by CKL or Gritia from Ricardo Capraseca, who sets absolute banger classics and he's one of the four horsemen of the moon apocalypse. <laughs> Can see why I couldn't do it. It's got a crossover. Let's see how much elbow bend we can get on this one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I nearly knocked my hand off. Wow. Thank goodness for Oh jobs. man. That was like, went dink and it I can't believe you didn't step out to the right. You like tucked and propped and contorted yourself on that left jug. You reckon that way? I, it's just how I read it. It's how I thought you would need to do it. But, oh, look at that deep drop knee. Oh, that would also work. Yep, Magnum. Oh, I've heard of that one. This is a root. Yeah, I'm pumped. Good one. That's a whole lot of climbing. That's a fun boulder. Good, hey? Yeah. And that's what we should be thinking about with the benchmarks. You should come off going, hmm. That was good. Problem 20 by Lucas Dudericus, the amazing Greek, also a legend. Oh, it's got the black beauty hold. That moves always hard when you like pinch wide, foot is wide. Saving grace is that you're going to a jug. Yeah. So you can go with a bit of um, authority. Oh, weird. Let's see what works. Good. Whoa. You had to that, go. That's no joke. <laughs> if you were on an outdoor boulder and someone told you that was V6, you would slap their face. A hundred percent. That's a hard hold. You had to pull out V10 plus power to do that nicely. This is an interesting one for me because there's some problems in the top five of these that I flashed, which for me, like that's kind of my upper upper limit of flushing maybe on the moon board or close to it but then the one that's been done the most was like a more than three tries project for me mm. so there'll be something about it maybe it has a crossover and it's called applesauce by alex arroyo yep it's got a crossover cross. <laughs> <laughs> love it Good one. That was pretty, nice. pretty steady. 
on my cactus by Jason. It's a long one. You can get pumped on this now. Well, he is a root climber. Yeah. What do you think? Well, this is, I'm thinking that this is the first boulder I feel properly nervous about. All right. Oh. oh wow, come on, come on, yes well done, J-Star salutes you, in orbit, yeah that's, that's wide, interesting, that's really cool, Jordan 2 variant, by Avo J. Slavek. It's got a cross. Well, the reason I know this is not bad is because it says that I flashed it. This pressure on me now. B time. Difficult area of, of the V8 list. This is where I tap out. I think we should do, and by we, I mean you. The royal we. Yeah. Either Air Max, because it's by Ravioli, a bit of a tip of the hat, or one of Capra Seca's. Bobby, well, marry me. Well, do you reckon we're going to hit some raviolis in the nines? Yeah, let's let's save a, ravi a hard ravioli one for... Ravioli will be in there. All right. Ugh. Bobby, marry me. Oh, I don't like hard yellows. At least you'll be flying like a jet plane to the last move. Air Max to it. Pretty well. Is this his proposal to his girlfriend? Boyfriend? His girlfriend, Bogley. Bogley. This one looks simple in terms of its movement and the difficulty comes down to the grips, doesn't it? There it is. Come on. Good. Good one. Come on. Like a jet plane. Hey, that was even more controlled and static than I had anticipated. That's awesome. More controlled than... Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 That felt okay. I w was actually a little bit worried for a moment. As I was coming over slow. Mm. So have I gone too slow? Mellow yellow. You know you're going to be grabbing some yellows. Again, my least, least favourite. Oh, I'll accept them. Nice. Made it look good. Froggy. Froggy hips. I'm not necessarily seeing a mega, a mega cliff. I think we probably have to give the tip of the hat to Nomad Bouldering Gym though. Yeah, let's keep it local. Yeah. Down in Sydney, the Nomad crew. Killer beat. Unless it's going to be hard. First move looks super interesting. Ultra spice. And then... Ah, so look, but that feels pretty brick. That feels like a weird. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you, didn't you see that? I didn't see this one. Ah. Oh no. Yeah, I was wondering why you weren't suggesting that as an underclean. And how are you going to hold the black? There's not a good right foot. And the interesting thing about this one is it has no video in the app. You could be the one to upload this video. Beta. 
but it worked. Oh, this is going to be really cool. Can I just say, this is going to be really cool because the most popular at this grade is one that I've put a lot of work into. I remember it taking really a lot of, a lot of work. I was really, really jazzed when I eventually did do it. It's amazing how much these things can feel like that sense of accomplishment. Yeah, and like, like as as important as doing a route outside, like yeah. for a good example is like I've got a whole section of my whiteboard out of shot that has a, a section called Wisping Aspens on it, and it's the easiest of the V10s on the board. And I have variously over the years dedicated, you know, whole training sessions and just you know session after session of trying at kind of the limit of my ability. Um, and put heaps and heaps of focus on it and would love to do it one day and hopefully I will do it one day. This looks simple, which means it's going to be hard pulls. than I thought it was going to be. Sometimes simple is what you want. Yeah. Good. Simple is good. Time to die. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't <laughs> Time to die by ravioli biceps. Yeah, that is the... You know it's going to have some spice. Time to cry. Those miserable little yellows. That's a bad hold. You're gonna want to really trust your foot for that move, hey? For the, for the right hand for kind of that, that move. Yeah. You're gonna um, want to trust that you can put weight through those feet. That trust element of the feet on the board, I think it's an advanced skill, really trusting that you can drive weight through small holds on the board. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm real nervous about this. Let's see what happens. Amazing catch, come on. Oh. oh my god! There was no way! <laughs> oh, I got a fist bump. That was. I don't know how you held well. I that was so bad. I was like, I am 100% off here. That thing is horrendous! Thank you, Rav. You know, I had that moment where you're like, I really want to flash it. Is it going to be worth the pulley injury? As I was here, I could feel the pinky having dropped off, and you're like, oh, just go for it. <laughs> Do it for the views. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. We will be back, and I'm going to do 10, 11, 12, 13. Things like problem number two. Problem? Project two? Project two. Project two. Black Beauty on the Black's Daniel Woods one. That will be fun. I've done this whole thing actually on the 2019 set, V3 to V12. So if you want to check out that video, check out this one here. Otherwise, if you want more board climbing froth, just here. Catch you next time.